you caught me. I was having my little between segment snack. It's impossible to stand next to a plate of mozzarella cheese and not eat a piece. I'm sorry. Okay. We're making lasagna with no lasagna. We're making an eggplant parm lasagna. All of the pasta has been swapped out for grilled eggplant. Got my last couple slices coming off the grill pan right now. Once you get them all stacked up, you're ready for your sauce. Grill pan off. Over here, I've got some onions sweating out. Just chop up a medium sized onion, throw it in a pan, cook it over medium low heat till it starts to get nice and sweet and translucent. Throw in a little salt and pepper. I like the flavor of a little bit of uh, cinnamon going through when I, whenever I make eggplant parm, so I'm going to put a cinnamon stick in and just pull it out later. Whoops, come back over here. Couple of cloves of garlic, chop it or I just grate it in. Let that cook out a couple minutes, then we'll add some Italian tomatoes, crush those up, and tear in some basil. Super, super simple. Uh, let's work on the cheese while we're waiting for that garlic to cook up a little bit. I'll crank up the heat a touch now. Okay, over here, I've got two egg yolks in the bottom of a bowl that I've lightly beaten. To that, we're going to add two cups of ricotta cheese for the whole lasagna. One, two-ish. And of course, it can't be eggplant parm without some Parmigiano-Reggiano going on. So. A couple of handfuls of that. <clears throat> Mix that together. The egg yolk just helps you, uh, gives it a little more stability and helps you cut it later. And then I like a flavor of a smoked fresh mozzarella cheese with this to kind of echo what's going on with the, with the grilled flavor of our eggplant. Add our tomatoes in here. And I find I get an even, easy crush by just gently pushing down two or three times with my potato masher. Add in a couple of leaves of torn basil. And you let that just simmer gently until it thickens up a little bit. I've got one ready to go over here. Let me show you how we're going to layer. Pull your cinnamon stick out of your sauce. A little of that nice sweet tomato sauce on the bottom. Eggplant steak. Half of your ricotta cheese. Spread that around as best you can. Another layer of eggplant. Layer of your smoked mozzarella. which apparently I can't layer and talk at the same time. <laughs> Dab a little sauce, just around, just a little scatter, and then repeat. My mopping is ready to reveal your even in the summertime lasagna. Heads up, this eggplant lasagna, which is made with actually no lasagna noodles. Um, it's a nice fresh sauce, so it's going to be a little bit weepy around the edges, so I suggest baking it uh, 375 for 40 minutes, incidentally, on a cookie sheet, a little baking sheet in case it bubbles over a bit. Um, how cute is that, is all I'm saying. It's one of those situations where it's almost too pretty to eat, the almost part being the key word in that sentence. Um, right before you put it on the table, Again, I would let this rest. If I was doing this at home, I'd give this a few minutes, a good 15, 20 minutes. Let it rest and settle. It's easier to cut and serve. But when you're ready to go, 
Scatter some basil all over the top. Because it just looks so pretty. And after you let it rest, this will be even easier for you guys at home. I do want to show you the ta-da. And whatever show comes on after us is not going to like me taking 15 minutes of their time <laughs> to let my lasagna cool. So. But even right out of the pot, it's looking pretty darn good.